Good evening, everyone. We are watching Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza as we're playing The Bard's Tale, an action RPG from 2004, available on Steam for only $10. So, in the last episode, we cleared the first floor out of the... Ooh, that had to hurt. Wow, that was efficient. Um, we cleared the first floor of the... Why did they bother putting a save point at the foot of this area if oh i guess the save point at each door i can't complain about that when you have static save points the more is better anyway so we got our upgraded thunder spider who is already showing some serious jeez some serious strength what the fuck did i get hit by um ah There we go. And now we are on the second floor. Trying to get through this. Trying to meet that huge dude at the top that's already challenged us. Man, upgraded Thunder Spider is kicking ass. And our heroine is now down. Oh, they're all down. Well. I still want to know where the bard pulls out a drum to play that song. That's my question. So you can see in the top left corner, casting magic does uh, drain me of mana. Um, and it can it can be a little tricky trying to manage mana. But it comes back pretty quick. And as long as you're making progress, you don't really lose a tremendous amount. Wow, good job, Thunder Spider. Holy crap. We're doing very well. That's a good Thunder Spider. That's a good Thunder Spider. And I keep forgetting about the crystal things. I always save them up because I... I think there are... Jeez, good job, Thunder Spider. I think there are a finite number of those crystals around the world. I could be mistaken. I, maybe you can buy them eventually. But all I know is I like having them around... Although, it, it falls into that trope of too awesome to use, that you hoard all these items and you never use them because you're waiting for the battle to use them, but that battle never comes. Um, which is silly. Because never using them just hurts you, so. Man, we are making short work of the enemies who are in our way. I say as I get poisoned. I'm going to have to... Uh, poison's pretty slow. I may have to grab the crone for a bit. Nope. Poison's gone. Anyway, it's it's just... It's surprising to me that the Huntress is now out uh, outdated. Um, it's good, though. Good having power. You can bring in the crone. She can heal up the Thunder Spider, and we should be good to go. If it's necessary. Right now, we're doing all right. So, basically, um, I was saying at the end of the last episode that I had played this game a certain way like I usually do. I play games a little too efficiently sometimes. <clears throat> I played with the Explorer and the Crone always out because I was afraid of traps and afraid of getting hit. Um, so, I'm trying to play a different way this time. And I'm trying to go more offense. And uh, under this strategy, I would only call the Crone if I'm in trouble. Because I can't heal myself other than burning one of those crystals. <coughs> I do gain my hit points back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I do gain my hit points back slowly, but... Um, certainly not fast enough to make it worth it sometimes. Alright, Crone. Somebody in need of healing? Yes, there's a lot of us that need healing. Ugh. Well, I thought traps could only be tripped once. Apparently not. Alright, once the crone heals me and the spider, I'll unsummon her and instead summon the huntress back. 
or not. I'm trying to remember if everything has a second summon. Or a third summon, rather. If everything has three levels. Alright. Doing alright here. I intentionally passed a save point. Maybe I shouldn't have. Let's go back for it. Save early, save often. It's bad to pass a save point. That's a good doggy. Alright. Yep, this, it was good to go back. Got a chest, and the save point is in a, a uh, is in an isolated area. So we'll go ahead and save here. If you look at my uh, playtime there, you can see how much time I've saved you from the time skipping. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we'll unsummon the crown. And we'll resummon our Huntress. Need my help? Well, apparently not. Thunder Spider has things well under control here. What is this? Oh, that's level three. Okay. Well, that's our next destination then, once we finish exploring out this area. Seems to be a whole hell of a lot of nothing at the moment. What the? Oh, I didn't even see the trap. Whoa! Holy crap! There were a lot of numbers that just flew up, and I wasn't sure how much of that was me getting hit. It was definitely a non-zero amount. Jeez. Man, this is one hell of a combination. It's one reason why I'm putting in so many of my uh, skill points for... Um, for rhythm because I want everybody to uh, stay nice and strong because toward the end of the game I mean the bard's power is already pretty weak but toward the end of the game he becomes almost completely useless unless there are some special weapons or something that I don't know about and oh the seed pods turn into new creatures if I don't kill them fast enough good to know so uh, or if I don't collect them fast enough rather Houghton Land Deed? Hmm. I wonder if that relates to some quest I failed to pick up or something. Wasn't there an NPC who was complaining that he couldn't find his land deed or something? I don't know. We'll have to head back to Houghton. Whoa! 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 Retreat! 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 Somebody... Take care of things. All right, let's try that again. Damn. All right. Okay, now we seem to be all right. Okay, unsummon. Did she just warp, like, in front of me somehow? Alright. Reporting for duty. So far, so good. Let's save again, and then head up to level 3. Not doing so bad. Only took us 10 minutes to clear. I feel like I'm on an adventure. Forest Tower level 3. We got this, guys. We got this. Let's clean this place out. We need treasure. We need... Well, treasure. I was going to say we need some cleavage, but other than Huntress, there is none to be found. Well, I guess technically there is cleavage with the old crone, but who wants old crone cleavage? Gross, man. Okay, whoa. 
Oh, there must have been a seat I didn't pick up over here. Got it. Okay, it doesn't seem to be... Oh, treasure. Always good. What's this? New token. Silver Torque? Let's see what this thing is. Charisma the plus one. wrought talk of silver. This magnificent piece is certain to enhance the appearance of anyone who wears it. I forget what charisma does for me. What does it do? Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the bard if he has high charisma. Others Ma tended to have a negative reaction to the bard. I can't imagine why. So maybe that's why my map was so expensive. Maybe it uh, isn't normally that expensive and I don't know. Anyway. Well, we have the map now. That's all that matters. And from here on out, it's pretty much pure profit. And hopefully the my next set of armor will now have a little bit of a discount. I forgot that Charisma did that. Ow. Trap and getting hit at the same time. Unpleasant. Okay. Yeah, get him. I was gonna say, don't just stand there, Thunder Spider. Frickin' electrocute him. It's your job. It's your job. You can do it. Oh, Jesus. Aha! Good job, Thunder Spider. I'd hug you, but you'd electrocute me. And I'd have to stab you. Yeah, look at that. The, the Thunder Spider is one-hitting these freaking flowers as long as I... I kind of want to go back the other way. But anyway, as long as I collect the seed pods to make sure no new other ones grow up, I'm in good shape. So I saw that save point down there. We're going to come back this way. Yep, just as I thought. My gamer's instinct says that this is a dead end. Probably, hopefully, with some treasure. We'll see. There's a trap there. Ah, I walked right into the poison. Okay, we'll bring out the crone. So she can heal me. And yup, just as I was hoping. Ooh, new weapon, Cranderberg. So we have a new advanced flail. Well, let's... Try this son of a bitch out, huh? Now that the enemies are a little slower and easier to hit, maybe this will help us out. Ow. She always heals me first. It's probably good. So we're gonna let the Huntress go. And instead we will resummon our Thunder Spider. And we're going to keep the crone for a second because I'm not sure what to expect now that I'm using the flail. So I want to make sure I have a little bit of healing juice uh, near me at all times. Alright. Going okay. Hey, more tra uh, treasure. It's like a couple gems. Mistletoe. Alright. Wow, that hits hard. The flowers, I mean. Man, getting this flail was kind of a waste. It's, it's so incredibly slow, it, it kind of sucks. I mean, it hits fairly decently, but I mean, it's good if you have... If we have an enemy that's easy to hit, but... It's, it's not bad. It's certainly worth trying out. Well, if it if it inflicts a stun, that's awful useful here too. It's slow though. I don't know. Doesn't really seem to be helping me in this area a whole hell of a lot. Thunder Spider himself is just doing a bang-up job of taking these enemies out. 
I may as well stick with speed. So we'll bring out our sword. And moving on. Ow. Alright. Save again. And okay, that's the way forward. So we're going to go back. Ow. I don't mind the trap so much if the crone is with me. if we can find some more treasure down this way. See, I got hit, but it just doesn't really mean anything. And the crone is right there to heal me up. Is that poison? I don't know, but my poor thunder spider disappeared. Alright, moving on. Ah, this was where we had the crossroads. Okay, so from here we can move back north. Okay, so we've explored everything. No additional treasure, but we've got some experience. And I'm close to dinging, um, which is good. Obviously. I don't even know why I bothered voicing that whole thought, but anyway. And the crone is gone. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Explorer. Problem, I do. Traps. Right over here. Hold back. Attack. Get it's your ass boring. over here. Moving as fast as I can. Now and that was enjoyable. Patience. See you get a taste of my medicine. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure there's no more enemies around here. I smell a trap. Where? What trap? What are you talking about? There's nothing here, douche. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Okay, you're you're not helping the situation right now. All right, we're gonna bring in the bodyguard now because I have this feeling, since Thunder Spider can hit a whole bunch of dudes around him, if uh, the bodyguard can get in there and draw aggro. Charge! And the Thunder Spider can then shock him. That should be good. Oh, crap. Oh, might As be boss time. As promised, met the Bard atop the tower. If the Bard wished the flame of the tower extinguished, he would first have to extinguish the life of its guardian. You may have made it this far, but your journey ends here. Prepare to die. Die? I've got too much to live for. But an old weed like yourself wouldn't understand such things. Time to do a little gardening, I think. Cheeky. Alright, so we're going to run around for a second while I try to figure out what the hell's going on with this boss. What the... Pardon me? Okay, so he moves around. I have that fire bow. Let's see if that's more efficient. Can he just block? No offense. I don't know if that's better or worse. That was about equal from what I was doing, to be honest. But Thunder Spider is doing a good job there. He's doing a lot. Of, he's doing a chunk of the offense, possibly m most of it. Ah, ah, I'm tangled. Ow! That kinda hurt. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Um, we'll unsummon oh, Thunder ow. Spider. That kinda hurt. Bodyguard will probably die shortly. And uh, we'll summon up the crone. Somebody in need of healing? Yes. Ow. Help. That kinda hurt. Wow, I just lost both my guys. I end your folly here, Bard. All right, Crone. Crush. And Huntress. 
Show me the target. And flail. I will end your folly here, Bard. My folly? I don't think so. Yeah, now the flail's showing its usefulness here. All right. Come on back, Crone. I'm surprised there's no music for this boss battle. It's kind of shocking. I will end your folly here, Bard. Yeah, I'm doing way more damage with the flail. You're a little soft, aren't you? All too easy. Stop blocking, jerk. We've basically got this. It's kind of slow going, but you can't stop us now. I will end your folly here, Bard. Even though he's kind of hitting me just by moving his arms around when he's taunting me, it isn't really stopping me very much. Or just hanging out until he appears. Oh, he's not showing up on the radar. I've been looking for red dots. I didn't realize he wasn't showing up. Ugh. Stupid poison. Oh, and she heals poison too when she heals me. Excellent. Heal yourself, girl. Or just die. That's cool. Now he's going to poison, and I get healed so it doesn't matter, and Huntress went down. <laughs> Doing very well here. Hearn is almost gone. We got this. Ouch. That with my eyes closed. Uh, Huntress, stop. Uh, Freaking poison. Got him. And a level up. Woot. That's how we roll. And here's our princess once again. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I bet you'd have said that to any other guy. Had any lived to make it this far. The others paled in comparison to you. Looks like most of them were impaled, actually. Yet you survived the journey up the tower. Yeah, but I have a few choice words for the gardener. Stay valiant, my love. You need now go to the second tower, which you can reach by taking a dangerous and peril-filled journey through the mountains. Uh, of course. I don't suppose you have a map. Oh, if only I did. You will need to go back to Kirkwall and see Bove. Does the term vicious circle mean anything to you? He's waiting for you and will guide you through the mountains. A different instrument is needed to enter the mountain tower. Bove knows of its location and can help you obtain it on your way through. Be certain to take the spirit stone of Han. His power will now be added to your own. You better be damn rich. That's all I can say. More than you will be able to spend in your lifetime, my love. But you must hurry. Isn't her the hotness next enough? Must be put out soon. Speaking of putting out. Hurry, my champion. Come on, Bard. You can do it. It'll be more cleavage than you will know what to do with. I hate it when she does that. <laughs> the Bard had no time for rest, for the danger of this tower had not yet passed. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, collect some loot here. Okay, we will level up. The stronger so again, the I'm is, specializing the here. I'm trying to hit people really hard and Rhythm use my instruments. The... All right, now let's see if that artifact actually does something. Is it in the token list? No, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's the... Uh, where was it? 4DA. So we'll see what this does. So this is what I got for, uh... 
Uh, I'm not sure what that did, but okay. Guess we'll find out as we go along here. All right. Oh, good. It just shortcuts me out. That's excellent. Uh, or, or not. How did they get in if they didn't have an instrument? Well, at least now I know why there was a save, uh, save spot on every, or save point at the beginning in, of every door. Wow, that doesn't look good. Meanwhile in Kirkwall, uh-oh. Meanwhile, back in Kirkwall, one of the bard's past errors would come back to haunt him. <laughs> Bloody idiot bard made me come out here, middle of the night, bloody rain. That's not good. So we killed a horse and created a centaur. That's that's really not good. Well, first we're going to have to get through the tower again. We'll see, unfortunately, what kind of damage we did in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again.